Hi, I'm just going to do a quick explanation on how to use my tip sheet. You'll see it. This is how it will arrive to you. My best three bets of the day are marked here A, B, and C. They're given in the order of sequence that they will run. On the, and they will be, for instance, at least these three horses, they'll be running on the 17th of November at the Val. As it happens, uh, they came fourth, second, and third. Luckily, they don't always lose. And my level of confidence is marked by how many crosses I give it. The minimum is two, the maximum is five. To give. So you can take these bets in any way you like. You can take them in doubles and trebles or patent, whatever you like. So that's my main bets for the day. As we scroll down, you'll see that underneath here we've got my best, uh, my my race, my race is in order, one, two, eight in this case, and these are my horses given my order of preference. Right, so the my best win bets are the first selections, and etc. As you go along the page. In South Africa, we've got a, a bet known as a bipod, where the horses must be. It's an exotic bet, and you've got to tip either the first or the second horse in each of the races that they um, nominate. It's normally the first six races, but if there are nine races, then it would be, could be races uh, two to seven. So, in this instance, for instance, you would put these three selections in your first leg, these three in the second leg, etc., all the way down. When asked for the price of the bet, you can, you can take a straight line for land, you can have two selections in each for 64 land, or th three selections for 729. In this particular instance, had you done the 729 land bet, you would have won 47,000 on the day. I must tell you that this is, this is exceptional, but it is what I sent out earlier this week. We're going on to the place accumulate, exactly the same thing. I've given three horses in each leg. This time it starts in leg two to eight, and luckily we got all all of them in. This time our 2,000 grand bet uh, won 19,000. Now you don't have to play for the full 2,000 if you're in South Africa. You could play for 200, or you could play for 20, 21 land. And then you'll get the percentage of the big ticket uh, to, for it. So for instance, if you spent 218 land instead of 2,000, instead of 19,000, you would have won 1,900. Same goes for the next one, which is the pick six. In the pick six, the the bet I wouldn't suggest you took the uh, first bit, getting it right in two for six legs. That's very difficult. Seven hundred and twenty nine. We got three right out of six, and out of the uh, four thousand rand bet, which is four in each each leg, we actually got them in in every leg. So we won in each leg. So a four thousand rand won ninety eight thousand in this case. But of course, you could have done it for 400 rand and won 9,800. Jackpot the same. 16 rand would have given you the two in each leg, and this is races four to seven. Um, 81 rand would have won you 1,400, and 256 rand would have won, uh, again, it would have won the same 1,400 because uh, we paid for four selections that, that didn't win. And finally, the second jackpot. It's the same thing, four horses in each leg, this time races five to eight, given them all the preference. If you're in South Africa, you can take these uh, four selections in each leg to cost you 256 rand, and in this particular case, you would have won 2,354. So that's how I do them. I post my selections uh, every day, and sometimes they're two, three days in advance, like over the weekend. You can buy them online, and uh, it'll cost you between 50 rand if you only want my best bets and 75 rand if you want the whole card. If you're overseas, you can pay by PayPal and this will cost you a straight five pound and you get the whole card. Hope this is good for you and you understand it. If not, contact me. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.